there, is there a particular cuisine that you want more people in the world to like know about or try? That you think is like personal. Fuck, you're asking the white guy un- here. Underrated. Uh, <laughs> Subway sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't Jelly know. eels. Um, <laughs> damn, I, I really want to just try more Southeast Asian food, but it, mm. worldwide, everyone should know. That's hard to say. Um, I still think to this day, Greek food is underrated. No. You don't no. like Greek food? <laughs> no, no, Greek, dude. Greek, Greek food. Greek, Greek food is so hit or miss. Really? Yeah. They've, and dude, it's all down to what's the fucking sauce they put on everything. Um, Tzatziki. Yeah, if that shit doesn't, if that if they didn't make that properly, the food, none of oh, the food works. I mean, not making good tzatziki at a Greek restaurant is being like, oh, we got vinegar instead of soy sauce for your sushi. It's like, you know, it's, 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 it's like such a whole, staple like, that it's like, if you fucked up at that point, I, there's no going off I, I, I've had a, I've had some amazing Greek food that I mm. thought was so good, mm. but so often, so often Greek restaurants are sh- uh, outside of Greece are so shit. Mm. It's like whoever runs it just hates everyone. I don't, I don't, and they <laughs> Is don't, that in the UK? Uh, in the UK or I've, I've been anywhere else in Europe. Mm. I, we ha- you know, I've, I've gone to other places in like America and I've tried Greek food and it's like, I don't know what it is. It's so hit or miss. Really? Like, it's yeah. like Italian. It's you can normally rely on it to be decent, or at least one or two items that you like, mm. and there's always something. And it's and to be honest, you you have to really fucking try to fuck up Italian food. Yeah, like, that's I'm true. not saying that it's easy to make, mm. but like at least the base ingredients are, are pretty readily available, and the recipes aren't too complicated. Right. Yeah. and like you have to really fuck, be an awful chef. Maybe I just had it good because in Australia we have a lot of Greek immigrants. Maybe um, like I feel like, like that's I've been how to like two shit. or three Greek restaurants in Sydney, and they were all fucking bomb. They were so good. I, I, so good. I don't know. This is like anecdotal. I think I've had the worst service consistently in Greek restaurants. Really? I think so. I've had the best <laughs> service. Say that? I, feel like, I, I feel like, uh, really? Dude, yeah. I, oh man, I, I don't know. Is that- Like there was a Greek restaurant. It's not there anymore. That was like near my house. Yeah. And like, we would go there because it was quite expensive and it's yeah. expensive to eat out in Australia, yeah. right? We would go there for like, if it's like a family member's birthday mm. or if it's like a new year's thing or something like that, mm. some kind of celebration. And we went so often year after year that like the head chef and like most of the people who worked there Mm. just knew who we were yeah. and we got some of the best fucking service ever like i've yeah. never seen my dad tip in australia except for at this greek restaurant <laughs> every time damn. my dad's like my well, man my, here i you wish are. you could have gone there damn. yeah and yeah. it's not there anymore i don't know maybe I, I need to try some restaurant more restaurants maybe there's some, there's some recommendations i mean i, I, I haven't in, been to greece so yeah. uh, i i don't know if i've had like authentic I've been to greece. authentic greece i like greece food, it's nice yeah uh, everything was really cheap I remember that. I remember the food was quite good. Yeah, but that that's what makes me want to go because mm. I had such a good experience at Greek restaurants in Australia, literally on the other side of the fucking planet from Greece that yeah. I'm sure the food in actual Greece is just as good, if be- if not better. Yeah, I like, I like the food yeah. in Greece, it's good. Yeah, I feel like I need to try more like Greek food. Mm. Uh, I think there's one thing that I feel like I don't gel with Greek food and it's just unfortunate that I just don't really like feta cheese, you know, I'm, I'm not, you don't like feta? I don't, I don't really like feta. A lot of people don't. Mm. Yeah, and, and and that's just- It is a, it is a strong taste. It, it is, it, it, is it is. like a very, it's very- so good though when it's fresh. It's, it is a very, very strong taste. A bit too strong for you my like, palate. You like lamb though, right? Yeah, I like lamb. Okay, yeah. good. Greek lamb, bro. Don't worry, I'm not Emily. Don't worry, I'm not Emily. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I, Emily, Emily and I just go, yeah, when I eat lamb, it tastes like goat's cheese. And I'm like, what? Like they, I mean, Yes, they come, you know, goat's cheese and, and uh, you know, whatever it's, I'm like, how the fuck, how the fuck does the meat taste like the goat's cheese? Well, I don't trust someone who said yuzu tastes like lemon cleaner. I don't like yuzu that much though. I, I, but do you think strong, it tastes like lemon cleaner? It's a very strong taste, I will admit. I don't know if it's- I, w- I wanna get Emily back on because she's the only person I've met that could like rival she is all of our tastes taste. like put together. <laughs> like holy shit, every time she comes out, every time she like in private or on fucking Twitter, every yeah. time like we talk about food, she'll say something fucking outrageous. Yeah. And I'm like, I thought I had bad food. I'm just like, I'm Emily. sorry. I don't, I don't believe I heard what you just <laughs> yeah. said. Could you repeat that for <laughs> a second? So, so Emily told me she didn't like lamb and yeah. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> what? What do you mean you don't like lamb? Mm. And so I, I, I'm like, you know what? Maybe you've just had really bad lamb. Yeah. Because like in America, mm. I don't think they got many good lambs. Mm. All right. Yeah. I don't think it's fresh. I don't think it's good stuff. I was like, whatever. Let's. I'll take you to somewhere that does really good lamb in Hokkaido. It's mm. really good shit. That, that place we went to. Oh, yeah. you've been there. Yeah, the genius complex. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, let's just try this. It's a different style. You cook it on a grill. You got and the then, stair yeah. one, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's you, so good. You get like veg on the side and it cooks. And I was like, all right, we'll try every cut. Mm. And I just tried a little mm-hmm. bit of each one. Cause she was like, I don't dislike lamb. I just don't think it's that good. Mm. Yeah. And I was like, well, let's try it. Yeah. And every single one she was like, there's like goat's cheese. And I was like, <laughs> then, and, oh my God. and then she was like, I just, I just think beef is way better than this. And I'm like, what? <laughs> 
What? It's like, I, there is, it's different foods, different occasions, you know? I, I think, I don't know what it is. Does she not like the gaminess of it maybe? I think so, maybe, yeah. 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 And I, I can accept people don't. It tastes don't like goat's like, cheese. But yeah. like, oh, I understand if you don't <laughs> like it for the gaminess, but <laughs> not for the subtle cheese flavor that it has, which it doesn't. I don't know what she's on. <laughs> which, yeah, I don't know. So yeah, that, that was frustrating. But I like lamb a lot. Obviously I'm Welsh, I love lamb. Yeah. But yeah, I feel I like in a lot of, lot of times in Wales, they didn't really cook it very well. Right. Yeah, I, yeah, I will say- There's always lamb chops I, as well. Yeah, mm. I will say like comparing like lamb to beef, beef is like a lot harder to fuck up. Yeah. I feel like lamb, if you don't cook it correctly or if the meat quality is not good, there yeah. is a, there is like a real strong aftertaste that can be very yeah. off-putting with lamb. But when you get good lamb, fucking incredible. Woo. Woo. Have you ever had someone ask you, uh, how, how would you like your pork cooked? No. no. Someone was like, do you want your pork medium rare? And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, what? what? Do you, what do you, I was like, what do you, what do you mean? So I went, I went to um, uh, a katsu place. Yeah, katsu right. is a uh, breaded uh, pork, pork, and then, pork, pork and then like fried. Yeah. Um, and they were like, do you want it rare or medium rare or well done? And I was like, what? I was like, what do you, what do you mean? It's tonkatsu. Yeah, yeah. I was like, isn't it deep fried? How do you do what? <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? I, I was very confused. Yeah. And they were like, the also chef- it's, Also it's pork. You should not be- Yeah, so the, yeah. the chef was like, we recommend it medium rare. And I was like, okay, I guess I'll trust you because it's your pork and you do this a lot. Yeah. So I'll, I'll get medium rare. Okay. And it was slightly pink, very slightly pink. Like, right. like a, a little bit of pink right. in the middle. Yeah. But it was bomb. It was really fucking good. And I was like- Is it safe? Yeah, I, I assume so. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't think they'd be open if it was poison. Isn't red pork like kind of bad? Yeah. I, see, I don't know. Is it, can we Google this? But then this is also the country that also does like- Raw chicken. chicken. Raw chicken also, like stuff, it was, like, it, when I say, it was the one I posted on Twitter, that mm. picture of the katsu. Mm. So like it was, it was clearly all white with just very dots of pink in the middle. So right, I assume right. they were trying to cook it. Cause often if you've ever, if you ever come to Japan and you have cheap katsu, it's it, sometimes it can be like fighting. Like it mm. is fighting a war. You're like yeah. biting really hard to kind of separate because the chunks are normally quite big. Yeah. yeah. So you do kind of want to, it's normally at least a two biter. And sometimes it is pretty hard to get through it. Mm. And you're like, okay, shit. I, maybe it makes sense that it would maybe. be medium rare, but Fine. it worked, it worked. Yeah, if it's a little bit pink, it's okay. If it's a little bit pink, it's okay. Right. So that's pretty okay. why. Okay. It was good. It, it was it was tasty, highly recommend it. They have, it was a chain. They oh, I'm sure it's bomb, but like, I would also be a little bit worried if the chef came up to me and said, how would you like it? I was just, I was taken aback because <laughs> like, I'd never had that before. It was like a bog standard, like, <laughs> Corner Street uh, Katsu place, and yeah. I was not. That's like ready. asking how you want your chicken done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just can I do? Can I get my chicken rare, please? Rare, rare please. Yeah. So, so I, I, I ordered it, and I, I was like, oh, uh, well, you know, what, what do you, what do you mean? Like, mm. I'd never heard a chef ask me that, and I thought he was saying something else. Cause I yeah. thought I, I thought I misunderstood. Yeah, Because yeah. I was like, what do you, what the fuck do you mean, medium rare? <laughs> what? No, I didn't get beef. I'm poor. Yeah, but no, it was there. It was good. Uh -huh. I recommend it. So if you ever get, if you ever get asked in Japan, how do you want your tonkatsu? And if the guy recommends medium rare, <laughs> trust him. He knows what he's talking about. So, so, <laughs> so bottom line with the Emily thing, she tried all those beautiful cuts of meat, mm -hmm. right? A lot of it was Australian cuts as well, if I remember A lot of Australian correctly. cuts. And yeah. there was deer there as well. There's deer a, as well. There's a cut of deer. Ooh. She liked the deer more it's than it's the lamb. Guy. Yeah, yeah that she liked the deer bomb, more. Yeah. And then she was and, like, and, ghost cheese, isn't it? I think she just liked, <laughs> I think people just like beef sometimes. And I think some people associate like beef in the, uh, sorry, meat in the head as chicken or beef and then pork is somewhere in the middle. Mm. But I think some people that when they've only really eaten chicken and beef a lot, they yeah. kind of only really think about those two right. when they think of it's meat. It's like there's the white meat, there's the red meat. And, and so ev every else, flavor yeah. of meat in their mind is like a tree that starts from chicken or beef and then right. they tie it. So I think uh, like some kind of, I think there's some kind of thing when you just don't eat anything. Yeah, I mean, there's like a mental thing, right? Where so. you, you try something new mental death. and you're just like- <laughs> Mental death. <laughs> Skill oh, you, oh, you don't like lamb? Mental death. Skill tree. Skill, skill issue, isn't it? Skill, skill issue. issue. Skill issue, you don't enjoy lamb. Listen, oh, I, what did she expect when she said to the Welsh person, I don't like lamb? And I was like, what do yeah. you, no, that's not allowed. It's cause you've had shit lamb. Yeah, it's how you had shit lamb. But now I, she's I, had good lamb and I apparently didn't, that didn't, didn't change. I didn't change her mind. Apparently at the end of it, she was like, no, so it all tastes like goat cheese. I'm like, oh what the fuck is your palate? What is this shit? Oh, Every Jesus time someone's Christ. like allergic, to, like deathly allergic to a food, now I'm gonna be like skill issue. Now. Skill issue. <laughs> skill issue. Skill issue. Skill Can't issue. have nuts. Fucking skill Wait, issue in it. How? Like, why? Why are we? Why do we just should get restart the game? Why, <laughs> do we just, why are we allergic to things? Why does that happen? Do we know? Do we why, know why, or, we, why allergies happen? Yeah. Why we just become allergic to shit? Skill issue. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's a genetic death, born death. No, what I don't understand more is how. 
is it that your body is just like, yeah, so um, you're allergic to this, this, and this, by the way. So don't ever have it in your body. Is and it- then 20 years later, they're like, Never mind. I is changed it, my mind. Is it like, You're good now. Is it like a like a you know how like games and they ship and there's bugs? Is it like that? Mm. Where like <laughs> well, know, it's like it's like a patch. <laughs> I feel like it's gotta be like some kind of bug on the DNA strand. Well, because like, like yeah. you are you are allergic to this fruit that is nowhere near where you are born and no one in your ancestors have ever eaten. You're like, what? Well, because my my, my dad <laughs> right, how did that happen? My dad was born with a prawn allergy. Okay. And then at the age of like for you, 20, he, one day he was just like, Yeah, and then I could eat it. My allergies just went away. I'm like, how, how does that work? Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. Yeah. Or some people who are allergic to like everything, you're like, what went wrong? Like, what <laughs> happened? How did you just get allergic to everything? Like, what, how, how does well, this- Well, you happen? developed an allergy to cats. I developed an allergy to cats and, and some breeds of dogs. Yeah. Skill death, dude. Skill yeah, I, I got, I got deep imagine, <laughs> imagine not being able to pet every dog. I would end it. I would my, be like- my cat would end it now. I would just start again. New safe file. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> new game plus. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm specking differently on the skill tree. Minus intelligence, <laughs> not allergic to dogs. So I understand. What's the point? My happiness meter it cannot yeah. cannot be full. I've maxed out my dog petting skill tree. Yeah. Um, it's just <laughs> fuck, man. I need to tell him he's a good boy. <laughs> Kai. Oh, yeah. uh, well, it's just your immune system just mistakes a normal substance. That's so fucking stupid. That's fucked up. Our body isn't just it? thinks it's something else. It's like, oh god, you're dying. It's just a like a just chicken wing. It's like, it's like, like what? Is there I mean, anyone I, allergic to chicken? Uh, maybe. Uh, you it, know what we should do for trash taste? Yeah. We should what? we should take one of those allergy tests and then we should report our results. Are, are we allergic yeah. to any weird specific things? Oh yeah. You can oh, yeah. You, they can give you like a test where they prick you with like every two thousand right? different yeah, little yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, all right, look, you're allergic to octopus fangs. <laughs> Octopus thought you good. Just avoid the fangs. Yeah, I, I don't think they have fangs. I <laughs> yeah. get it up. Yeah, because it's so weird. Because I, I used to be, uh, I used to get hay fever, and then I didn't. And then I was just like, I don't know what happened. I just woke up one day, and then I just didn't. Wait, wait. So you had hay fever in the UK, but not here, right? No, I had hay fever in the UK. Yeah. And then when I turned like eighteen or something, I just stopped having hay fever. Really? Yeah, I don't get it in the UK or anything anymore. Your body just decided to be a giga chat one day. <laughs> like, you just woke up. Da, na, na, na. <laughs> Your immune system was like, stop sneezing now. <laughs> Told my body to get good and it did. So it's, you know, like, that's- it's like when I hear about people who like, uh, they they ate they, they they ignored their lactose intolerance so much that they just somehow stopped being lactose intolerant. <laughs> I'm like, you sacrifice so much. No, but that but that's an actual <laughs> thing that can happen. It's mm. like because like I you think you can also the, develop it if you don't have enough dairy, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, the, you can do the same thing with like cats, for example. Yeah. If you live with the same cat that you started off as being allergic to, yeah. And you just let your immune system just fight that shit for like, I think it's like a couple of weeks on average. Can we check this you, is true by the way? Before no, we start no, promoting it bullshit. It is true because <laughs> that's what happened to Chris. Oh, okay. Yeah, Chris was allergic to cats, but then when Chris and Charla started living yeah. together, she has a cat. Yeah. And then he had to live with this cat for, you know, however many weeks. After a while, he's like, I'm not allergic to this particular cat. Oh. Your, your body just learns to process that particular cat's Allergens or whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> when, they, when they were trying to keep it a secret, you had a cat, and yeah. then just the, the cat hair constantly kept appearing on him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> that was just so funny. I was like, really, Chris? Where's the cat? On, man. Where's the cat? Come on, come keep on. it a secret. You got Rookie a cat. error. <laughs> Rookie mistake. Yeah, but so like that that is like one way that you can just get over. So it's really interesting in the case with Chris, it's that he's not allergic to this one particular cat that he lives yeah, with, yeah. but every other cat he's still allergic to. Huh. And, oh. it's, and it's like your body just being like, yeah, you're good with this. All these other ones though, no, nah, you're still fucked. Being allergic to these, these fruits and whatever the fuck, any of this stuff. Mm. Yeah, I could, I could live with that. But I couldn't be lactose intolerant, man. I <laughs> A world without cheese is one I don't want to be in. Aren't we I, all no, no, technically okay. a little bit lactose no. intolerant? No. We are. I'm Connor, not, I'm Connor, Connor, I, I know if you were lactose intolerant, you would just take the L and just like fight I through would. it. I would. Like, I would fight through as, it. As, as would... the man who has food poisoning every fucking week, you you, you <laughs> would just like- Lactose intolerant <laughs> is not an illness. You know, you, know, you, know, like, you know like when you hear about the stories of like kids who are allergic to peanut butter are like, fuck it. They eat like the peanut butter, uh, the like Reese's 
the cop and then just stab themselves with the epipen. <laughs> it's like, I think I would be that kid. I would be yeah. like, fuck it. <laughs> oh! Like sitting profusely on the toilet. I, seeing like the cheese risotto thing they yeah. do where they, they cook, like they put the oh, risotto they carve in. The cheese yeah. in. They like yeah. carve the cheese. I'm like, all right. Yeah. So, all right, good enough. Load the bidet ready. I'm going in. <laughs> yeah, like I have, I have some friends who live here who are like full on lactose intolerant. Yeah. Like can't yeah. eat any cheese at all. Some days when well, I'm it's, out it's eating a- with them, Asian, I'm like- Asian, right? Yeah. They have- yeah. l- some like days I'm just out eating with them and they're just like, fuck it. <laughs> it's like, that looks too good. Yeah. I'm just going to take the hit. So fucking, cheese is so fucking good. I'm just yeah. going to be shitting God, through a straw cheese. for the next two days. God, I love it. That's the one thing I can agree on with French people. Yeah. <laughs> cheese. <laughs> cheese? Fucking, fucking great. Cheese. <laughs> no, I love cheese. So I, I, I would cry profusely if I was lactose intolerant. Yeah, I would too. I yeah, just don't think I could do it. I, I don't think I could continue. I don't think so. I'm just glad I don't have a food allergy. You know? Yeah. You know, when you go to a restaurant and you're like, do you have any food allergies? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, damn, Giga Chat theme stuff. Play it. <laughs> Play it. Dun, no. Dun. <laughs> Cause I love food so much and I love like so many yeah. variations of food that like, it would just be such like an immediate hindrance to just like yeah. actually get explorative with food. I feel, yeah. and, if, and it sucks, it must fucking suck. But like, you know. Yeah, I got some friends with some yeah. peanut allergies where it's mm. like, you have to, Go into a restaurant as a fucking battle because you have to profusely make sure that they know, like, hey, I cannot have anything with yeah. peanuts yeah. remotely near peanuts. You cannot breathe near peanuts and walk near me. Mm. Like there, and sometimes they take it seriously and sometimes they don't. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, it's unfortunate because um, I remember when I when during my wedding, you know, obviously I had to get everyone's dietary requirements. Mm. Oh yeah, and then everyone was just like, fine, 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 fine. And then, you know, I had one person have to like send me a fucking shopping list. I oh, was like, no. you've been, this is what you have to live with. Oh. We have a friend in the UK who's uh, allergic to sesame. Yeah. Mm. Um, but they're Asian. So, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. if they want to eat Asian how, food. How do they A manage? lot of the time it's like, uh, please, please, please don't put sesame in. And yeah. Like, yeah. they're like, yeah, of course. Of course they use sesame oil a lot of the times to cook or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just forget. Yeah. So they get sick a lot.